Have you ever wondered how Chinese farmers can produce billions of fish every day? From maintaining clean water quality to ensuring the health of fish stocks, they face many significant challenges. However, their perseverance and creativity have taken the aquaculture industry in China to new heights with billions of dollars in production value. So how did they do this? And what can we learn from this world's largest fish producer? Let's explore how Chinese farmers raise billions of fish. The fish farming industry in China has undergone a long development process, becoming an integral part of the national economy. With a history of more than 2,000 years, the industry accounts for 60% of the world's aquaculture production. Each Chinese consumes about 36.2 kilograms of fish and aquatic products each year, providing jobs for about 4.3 million rural workers. Fish farming in China plays an important role in ensuring food security, reducing poverty, and promoting sustainable development in rural communities. Using abundant water resources and technological advancements, this industry continues to be a symbol of innovation and progress in the field of global food production. Fish farming in China includes both freshwater and marine aquaculture. Freshwater aquaculture production reached 17,782,734 tons in 2003. While marine aquaculture reached 12,533.61 tons in the same year. China's total aquaculture production is now about 46 million tons. Fish farming in China is one of the fastest growing agricultural sectors, playing an important role not only in the domestic economy, but also in global trade. Exports of shrimp, eel, tilapia, snails, and seaweed from China account for the majority of the world's seafood trade. Species that are mainly carefully farmed in freshwater and marine environments include grass carp, tilapia, freshwater eel and goby, croaker, grouper in marine environments. The health problem of farmed fish is becoming a growing risk to the fish farming industry in China, mainly due to the overuse of antibiotics and chemicals during farming. The overuse of antibiotics not only facilitates the growth of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, but also carries a potential risk to public health, especially when these drugs come into contact with the human food chain through farmed fish. To prevent this situation, it is essential to promote the use of antibiotic and chemical-free farming methods, and it is necessary to establish strict regulations and supervision to ensure compliance and promote the sustainable development of the fish farming industry. The health problem of farmed fish 
is becoming a growing risk to the fish farming industry in China, mainly due to the overuse of antibiotics and chemicals during farming. The overuse of antibiotics not only facilitates the growth of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, but also carries a potential risk to public health, especially when these drugs come into contact with the human food chain through farmed fish. To prevent this situation, it is essential to promote the use of antibiotic and chemical-free farming methods, and it is necessary to establish strict regulations and supervision to ensure compliance and promote the sustainable development of the fish farming industry. The fish industry in China has had a negative impact on biodiversity through the introduction of non-native species into the natural environment. This action alters habitats and significant loss of species and habitats. As a result, the ecological balance is affected and can lead to many other complex problems such as the decline of native species and the increase of invasive species. In order to protect biodiversity and ensure ecological balance, it is necessary to promote strict monitoring and management of the introduction of new species into the natural environment. Managing the waters and lakes and increasing education and public awareness can mitigate the negative impact on With a focus on innovation and efficiency, China has become a leader in this field, providing valuable lessons such as promoting species, diversification, and adopting multi-trophic farming. These efforts not only improve production efficiency, but also play a crucial role in environmental protection and biodiversity conservation. We need to learn from and apply these experiences to build a sustainable and thriving future for aquaculture.